Raise up your right hand to the heavens and declare this louder than anyone around you. The Bible says, as from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent ticketed by force. With a voice that roars like thunder, you will shout this loud and clear. September. Hear the word of the Lord. I want you to really address this month aggressively. Can you shout it loud? Favor me by fire. In the name of Jesus. Speak to the womb of the month. Speak to the womb of the month. Jesus name we pray anywhere I go this month favor of God overshadow my life in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray any power that wants me to die this month die in my place in the name of Jesus somebody is eating the target Jesus name we pray right there where you are I'd like you to close your eyes and sing this song loud and clear my life time I will give God Shout it loud, hallelujah. A Jericho destroying, hallelujah. Let's sing this song loud and clear. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Victory, victory, hallelujah. Conquered the world and gave us Hallelujah. Victory, victory, God. Oh, Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Victory, victory, hallelujah. Sing it loud and clear. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Hallelujah. Victory. Victorious, yes, we are victorious. Glory be to God who has given us victory. Sing it loud and clear. We are victorious, yes, we are victorious. Lord, we are glory.
glory, great things he has
Father, we thank you for another time before your feet. We thank you for the mightiness of your name and your power. We thank you because you are Jehovah, our rock, our stand and our stay. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Today, lay your hands upon your people here in the name of Jesus. We have come here the way we like. Father, let there be no one who will leave this place with a plastic experience. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. Before you sit down, I'd like you to raise your two hands to the Heavenly and shout this the more you want it to manifest in your life. Jesus, open your mouth and say it. Continue to say it. name we pray you shout this again loud and clear the louder the better wherever I go darkness must disappear in the name of Jesus say the way you want it to happen name we pray let's have a seat God bless you we continue on our series the way of spiritual power today we are reading for the book of Mark chapter 9 and you do well to follow us very carefully the way of power 
Mark chapter 9. From verse 14. Please follow very carefully. Mark 9, 14. And when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude about them. And the scribes questioning with them. And straight away, all the people when they beheld him were greatly amazed and running to him saluted him and he asked the scribes what question you with them and one of the multitude answered the sin is that multitude has surrounded the disciples of Jesus and he found them questioning them questioning them it's like harassing them so then they would, Jesus followed the disciples seemed helpless so you have to say why are you harassing them what, what, what question are you asking them verse 17 shows us and one of the multitude answered and said master I brought unto thee my son which had a dumb spirit he didn't get it right it's not a dumb spirit he didn't get it right this man said calling the boy dumb it's more than that and wheresoever it taketh him it tearet him and he foamed and gnashed with his teeth and pined away. This is more than dumbness. This is not dumbness. And I spoke to thy disciples that they should cast him out. And they could not. That's what caused the question. So, uh, uh, you people. They are following this man of Galilee. They are following Miracle Walker. You have left your families. Following the man about. You know, he will ask you to perform. You could not perform. You see? Perform. Heal this boy. You say you are miracle workers. Heal this boy. That was the scenario that was presented before Jesus. He answered him and said, Oh, faithless generation. How long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, straight away there was a reaction straight away the spirit cheered him and he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming it, manif it manifested before Jesus and he asked his father how long is it ago since this came unto him you think Jesus did not know when the sickness started he knew but for the benefit of those who were standing around he asked the question how long has it been since this came unto him and he said of a child that started since he was a child I'm praying for somebody here every since it was a child problem. I buried them now in the name of Jesus. A town for them all. And I decree upon somebody here any problem that has followed you from the womb from the womb to the present day in the name which is above all names jesus christ the son of the living god i bury them now in the name of jesus light of heaven roll like thunder this 
shows you what we're saying that the devil is wickedly wicked and badly bad no mercy for a child no mercy for a baby verse 22 and oftentimes it has cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him now say something if thou canst do anything have compassion on us and help us Jesus tell unto him this uh, key statement powerful statement if thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believe he called them a faithless generation before now he's telling the father of the child if thou can't believe. And straight away, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. By that time, a sin had been created. A sin had been created. First, the disciples were being harassed. Jesus came to save them from the embarrassment. Jesus addressed the crowd, then addressed the father of the child. As a wild manifestation of the demonic on the streets. They heard the cry of the father. The Bible says the father cried out. Lord, I believe with all the scenario people now gathered they, they ran towards the place quickly when Jesus saw that the people came running together he rebuked the foul spirit saying unto him thou dumb and deaf spirit I charge thee come out of him and enter no more into him. Jesus now correctly addressed it. A dumb and deaf spirit. And the spirit cried and lent him sore. He still punished the boy very well. Cried, lent him sore because he knew that was the last bus stop. And the demons hate losing their property they hate losing the the possession of human body they always like to be inside people inside people to be outside is serious suffering for them because they are creatures without body we need a body to manifest got angry tell the boy and came out of him and the bible said and he was as one dead but jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up and he arose on the streets on the streets and when he was coming to the house his disciples asked him privately why could not we cast him out? Because they've been casting out such things before. And before the people began to harass them with questions, they must have tried their best. They must have been shouting, Come out, come out, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out, come out. They must have been shouting there. They thought it was going to be like the ones they have handled before. But now there's a new demon around. Stronger than the ones they've ever dealt with. So why could not we cast them out? They too, they, they were puzzled. 
Because it's the first time it's happened to them. So they've had a lot of successes. Jesus sent them out to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to cast out demons. They now came against this one. Who resisted them? And Jesus now answered why they could not cast them out. And he said unto them, this kind, that is, they are different kinds. But this, the kind you were casting out before, those were small, small boys, small, small guys, small, small, but well, this particular, this, this kind can comfort by nothing but by prayer and fast. Meaning, some problems will not bow. Some demons will not go. Some situations will not change. Except you fast and pray. And herein lies a key to power. That Jesus is talking about here. To power. In this passage, we see the result of spiritual powerlessness. We saw embarrassment. We saw frustration. We saw disgrace. The result for the sufferer helplessness disappointment the sufferer was unhappy to heaven an embarrassment to heaven as you are here there may be those that their deliverance is attached to you. Maybe in your family, in your place of work, if they die in their problems and their deliverance is attached to you, and because of power, your powerlessness, they died. What explanation are you going to give to heaven? Will you say you didn't read your Bible? I said, behold on the last days I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters are prophesied. The young men shall dream dreams. The whole men shall dream so young men shall see visions. And upon men servant and men servant I will pour out of my spirit. Will you want to say you didn't get access to that spirit? Say, but you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. What explanation do you want to give them? The result for the sufferer helplessness, disappointment. The result for the savior himself who was on ground was disappointment. And people around who say these disciples are fake. fake. Whereas they're not fake. There's only one problem powerlessness. Say, I will not be a disgrace to heaven by the power in the blood of Jesus. I will not be a disgrace to heaven by the power in the blood of Jesus. So, having the power of God in our lives is our bad right as Christians. Because, like I've been telling you for weeks, where there is power, there is no struggle. 
you cannot survive without that power in this generation which we find ourselves now these days people get attacked in the dream they land in the hospital these day people face occulting people they speak into their lives and their lives become rubbish and nonsense a mother brought her son here very bright student she said Gio this boy has been kidnapped for three years we have not seen him for three years they came all the way from Ibadan we have not seen him for three years so we just saw him some people saw him by the side of a bush then they took him to us it was like a double kwashoko patient his, his English was good still speaking the correct English I said what happened to you they captured him took him inside their coven to sacrifice him they were sacrificing others so, but, but when they got to the chief priest chief priest said I see a mark on this boy if we use him we die so get him out of here who said that we've, we've traveled miles and miles and miles before we brought him here I said, take him away. Go on. Return him to where you found him. Instead of driving miles and miles and miles and miles back to where they took him, they left him in the forest. And that was where he was for three years. Eating all kinds of things. Beloved, the world has become a wicked arena. The Bible says the whole world lies in wickedness. We need power to confront those wickedness. These days, I'm afraid to say if you fail to carry some level of spiritual power you are dead they just eat up the person or steal what they should not steal from you the tragedy that is bothering my heart is that Christians are being wasted every day by powers the Christians are supposed to waste unfortunately it is in school they give you the lesson before the test the, first, the teacher will teach you the subject <laughs> then he will test you but in life it's test before the lesson and some will learn the easy way some will learn the hard way may you not learn the hard way in the name of Jesus so you need that power now blame is a lame defense for powerlessness powerlessness makes you a slave they say give unto Caesar what is Caesar but if you also hand over to Caesar what belongs to you Caesar will keep it I'm praying for somebody here that by the time you leave this place today you will be a carrier of fire a carrier of power they'll be able to say that we know you we know Jesus you have recognition both on earth in heaven also recognition in hellfire i remember that mama many years ago 
she lived at the front of a maternity home anytime they were having troubles delivering babies in the maternity they said go and call mama go and call mama that's a woman with problematic delivery problematic delivery and it got so problematic demons were speaking that, that if the doctors touched them they would die the doctors were scared they went and called mama immediately they said go and call mama the demons began to discuss so it's time to go they have called her it's time to leave this place because that woman will show us pepper we better go they were scared of her terrified that she was coming I wonder how many sisters now will the devil run away from I wonder how many men now will the devil run for the reason is this there is an enemy within us killing our power that enemy within we need to deal with it so that the power of God can have easy flow into our lives the powers binding your faith the powers binding your prayer life the power Binding your fasting life. The power that turns fasting to a terror to so many people. There is an internal power we need to deal with. This internal enemy binds our mouths. They anoint us reduces our spiritual fire blocks our deliverance ensures we're limited ensures we're limited we, we always we always be encouraging counter attack to stop you from praying the prayers you are praying it will be dissolving good dreams and breaking bad ones just to discourage you so that you won't want to pray the way you should pray. It is this enemy within that provides a landing place for the aircraft of darkness. What is that enemy within that is occupying the space so that the power of God cannot come in? Is anything in our lives that heaven is against? It's an enemy within. And as far as we have all that enemy within, we put a goat or a serpent or crocodile inside already occupying all the rooms and now we are shouting the Holy Spirit come down come and take control Holy Spirit says yes I want to take control but could you please remove the visitors the strangers in your house behold i stand at the door and knock so if any man hears my voice and opens the door so i will come in and dwell with the person if any man hears my voice opens the door i will come in and dwell with that person but the reason many people are not able to open that door as a stranger within that needs to be pushed out a soldier man went for military service it was a tough war many people died but all the time he was in the war front 
was always missing home missing the wife and his son sometimes shedding a tear or two at the war front saying will i ever see them again will i ever see them again but one day the war was over in the particular section where he was and they were going to exchange them for other soldiers so they asked his own batch of soldiers to go back home he wanted to surprise his wife didn't tell the wife he was coming so he got home knocked the wife looked through the hole at the door saw her husband she hasn't seen for two years she could not open the door why she has a boyfriend inside so she could not open that door. so although the door was being knocked open up open open she could not open as a stranger inside rise to your feet now all eyes closed lay your hands on your chest where you are and shout this louder than anyone around you don't say i don't think this prayer concerns me <laughs> i don't think it's relevant to me it is relevant to everybody i does in my heart can you shout this loud Jesus center amen so anything in my life chasing heaven away can you shout it loud In the name of Jesus. Pray. Have your seat for one or two minutes. When you want to access the power of God, the first key, first key, is new birth. New birth. Bible salvation. Bible says if any man is in Christ, he has become a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. A lot of people coming to church are not born again. What they do, you will know they never encountered 
encountered Christ. This is where, this is the greatest problem of the Almighty in granting power to his people. Only scanty number of people are really born again. Some go to church because they are pursued by enemies. Some go to church because they want miracles. Some go to church because they want breakthroughs. Which is okay. Which is okay. But the stand of scripture is this. Seek ye first. We we'll look for that one first. The kingdom of God. And his righteousness. And all other things. Be added to it. We have abandoned that one. And we are chasing all the other things. It's a concern to heaven. Give me power. Give me power. Give me power. Anointing fall on me. Say yes. I'm ready to give you the anointing. But the anointing can only fall on the lamb. Not good. You are still a good. Remove your horns. Become a lamb. Then to follow you. Said so the Holy Spirit, like a dove, came upon Jesus. And the Lord said, This is my son, whom I'm well pleased. This is the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. The dove will fall on the lamb not on the goats plenty of goats in the house of god they are not really they've not found christ that's why they could commit fornication that's why they could be telling lies that's why they could gossip that's why they could say what does not belong to them that's why they could be moving about with other people's wife other people's husband that's why they can be drinking and smoking it's because they never encountered Christ. You see, if this foundation, if this foundation is not sorted out, there is no way God wants to deposit that power in. No, to give you that power, it's like giving a six-year-old child a pistol. It's too much power for a child. So, in case you are here, you are not born again. You are only calling yourself being born again because I've been coming to church for years. <laughs> so, you are born again because they give you a Christian name when they give back to you. They, you call yourself being born again because you were baptized on the eight days in, in water in your church. Call yourself born again because you eat communion. No. It's more than that. You live a living, you need a living experience with the Lord Jesus Christ. Once that foundation is okay, it's, it's easy. Why did you think Jesus, after moving with those disciples for three years, could not just gather them? Hey, come here, you. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. All of you. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. Let go and preach. Say no. Tari. In Jerusalem. They needed to be purged. <laughs> they needed to be purged. They needed to be Tari. Go and tari. Go and tari. That's why they call the Holy Ghost baptism meeting tari meetings. Go and tari. The things they need to be they need to be poised. So they are time in that upper room waiting for the Holy Ghost to come down. This is their time of preparation. Poising them. Poising them. Preparing them to receive the power. And when they received the power, Jerusalem knew there was a problem. 
if all of us say I should receive the fire, the power. This country will not have a nice problem. <laughs> for we shall begin to turn things upside down for Jesus. I'm praying there will be somebody here who will say, I am divinely dissatisfied. I want power to make an impact in my generation. First key, you bath. You need to have it. Second key, you need a divine encounter. You need to cry out for a divine encounter. All the men and women who were useful for God in scripture were people who had divine encounter. Third key, it's violent faith. Jesus accused those people of faithlessness. The next key, prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting. Fifth key, is the word of God. Which is what we have been trying to let people understand. Bow down your heads now. In case you are here this morning, and you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, do so very, very quickly before we start the power prayers. Because this morning is power prayers. You must not go home the same. So, so if you are here, say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Find a way to this altar very, very quickly before we start the power prayers. Jesus is waiting for you here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me people here who are supposed to join them at this altar because they are not born again. One is still afraid of what the parents will say. But these three people they have a short time to live. That's why Jesus brought them here. So that their lives will be saved. So if you fail to surrender your life to Jesus today Whatever happens to you, your blood will not be on my neck. I've given the invitation. 
So those three people, because of you, I'm going to wait a little bit more. I say yes, Lord. of you that you are here there's still one more the way you are going to know yourself is because you are on hard drugs you are on hard drugs god wants to deliver you find a way to this altar the first step is to surrender your life to jesus your parents don't know but god knows find a way to this altar very quickly if you my lifetime Bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Bow down your heads and say this after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Because from today, I say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. Let your hand be upon them for good. Lay your hands upon their destinies. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Sit, sit down. See the pastor, but I just follow that pastor for a few minutes. We'll give you some instruction. You can join us on the mountain in the valley. On the land and in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. On the mountain. In the valley, on the land, and in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. Make a lake is a moon, and I make a lake is a moon, and I make a lake is a moon. Ibo Alpha na Omega, and I make a lake is a moon, and I make a lake is a moon, and I make a lake is a moon. Yes, Ibo Alpha na. Hallelujah. 
magnify than flatter. We're children of God, we're praising the Lord. The world of Jericho fell than flatter. The walls of Jericho fell than flatter. Yes. The walls of Jericho fell than flatter. We're children of God, we're praising the Lord. The walls of Jericho fell than flatter. Amen. Bring out your thanks and your offering for this meeting, please. Before we go into our power prayers, power prayers, Father, we thank you for the thanks and the offering. Let your power fall upon our hands, lay your hands of fire and power upon us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. The offering boxes are before you there. Put your offering in the boxes or use our data on the screen. Safety of the Lord. Okay. All eyes closed. Now, the hour has come. I am going to pray. Then I will ask you to pray. And the prayer I will ask you to pray is a prayer where if I don't stop you, don't stop. Pray until something happens. Operation push. Pray until something happens. Number one, concentrate. Don't allow your mind to wander. I know you may have situations, but thinking about them does not solve the problem. Worrying about them does not solve any problem. Crying about them is a waste of time. This is the solution. Power, power. Power. Where there is power, there is no struggle. And when a weaker power comes across a stronger power, as a matter of necessity, that weaker power must bow. There is nothing wrong if you receive power from heaven and you stay on that street where your business is you raise your hand towards the heavens. I command all the customers that will come here today to come to my place that's power until I've stopped selling not nobody selling anything here you are exercising the power you have been given but you are not using it let all these voices of witchcraft around be silenced permanently and you silence them we need to do something serious about our powerlessness there used to be three trees in a school compound and every every month these ritualists will come dressed in white they come into the school compound they will dress the trees in white clothes they'll be killing chicken pouring blood there inside this school compound the principal could not stop them because they have been doing that thing there before they even built the school there many principals have gone everybody just left them below nobody talks well, there is a small meeting of students in the school. We, we used to call it Student Union, SU. Students who we gather after the school, uh, after the studies and they pray, study the Bible. They came across 
the word of power that behold I have given you power he didn't say it's your power he gave it to you he give it. to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over every power he didn't say he didn't say some powers every all of them every power of the enemy say nothing yeah, but enemies hurt you that's what these young SU students read they say enough is enough these people coming to our compound to be disturbing us like killing chicken and putting blood here they waited on the principal and teachers have gone they went there with cutlasses attack the trees but beloved as they were cutting them blood blood not three back blood was also coming out by the time the last three fell down those men they knew they knew they rush they rush to the school company they quickly summon the principal back who cut this tree who cut it the student said we did sir say hey hey you have put this good in trouble i put my job on the line so who asked you to cut it so they have no right to be putting blood here the, the chief priest I see these children I'm talking you are talking so all of you who cut this tree within 24 hours consider yourself dead consider your parents childless and they went away in anger the students who went went away and said he has given us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over every part of the enemy nothing shall by enemy sort us beloved by the next morning all the men who came to arrest the students were dead all of them none of those children that they graduated and left the school and the situation remain permanently like that they decreed it by power and kept up perhaps god has attached the destruction of those trees to those students if they left that school without doing it blood is in their hands will you allow blood to be in your hands because those you should deliver you cannot deliver them even the office you were sent to convert the man you are sleeping with the man will heaven congratulate you for that i'm going to pray now after this prayer i'm going to ask you to cry to the heavens i'm not saying say prayers <laughs> this is not the day to say prayers <laughs> but must, when he was serious did not say his prayers he was crying it when you, when you get serious you cry your prayers the father of that child the mark now he said cry out lord i believe help my unbelief raise your two hands to the heavens father i thank you for the power in the blood of jesus father i thank you for the victory that was won on the cross of calvary father i thank you for your children that were brought here by your power your word says you have given us power your word says we shall receive power your word says we should receive power from on high my pata rika tela kaya bashen teraba let a cloud of fire a cloud of your power descend from your throne now upon this place this morning so that there will be nobody who will attend this service that your power will not touch father let that power 
descend in the midst descend 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 in the midst in the name of Jesus You are going to raise up your voices now. Let your voice roar like fire. Don't negotiate. Holy Ghost fire! Oh my shadow, my Lord! In the name of Jesus! Open your mouth, open your mouth. There's a power of God coming upon you. There's a power of God coming upon you. Louder, 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 the power, 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 receive it, 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 in the name of Jesus. See the wind, see the wind, the wind of the fire, the wind of the power, the wind of the fire, the wind of the power, the wind of the fire, the wind of the power, the wind of the fire, the wind of the power, the wind, the wind, the wind. Baposa teleke yaboshenderaba. Yes. Today is today. You must not go home the same. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. See the fire is moving. See the wind is moving. See the fire is moving. See the wind is moving. See the fire is moving. See the wind is moving. See the fire is moving. See the wind is moving. Yeah, see the fire is moving. See the wind is moving. Aha, see the fire is moving, see the wind is moving. Enough is enough. They have been battling you for too long. It's time for you to fight back, to fight back, to fight back, to fight back, to fight back with fire, with power, to fight back with fire, with power, to fight back with fire, with power, to fight back. Yes, today is your day. Today is your day. You cannot negotiate. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. That's the wind. That's the power. That's the fire. That's the wind. That's the power. That's the fire. That's the wind. That's the power. That's the fire. That's the wind. That's the power. That's the fire. That's the wind. That's the power. That's the fire. That's the wind. That's the power. That's the fire. Jesus, 
Jesus. Continue, continue, continue. You cannot negotiate. Yes, they have been harassing you for too long. It is time for power to change us. Receive power, receive fire, receive power, receive fire, receive power, receive fire, receive the power, receive the fire, receive the power, receive the fire. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Yes. Jesus, then we pray. New this. Aha. Balikadira Bosapia. Manirakia. Baseta. Dalikapeta. Riboko Sopolaka. Nakatenda Kayaboshe. Ribo Soponde Kayabo. Nakatenda Kayabo Koshoto. Ribo Sepila. Nikatende Kayaboshe. The Ketende Lika, Bokaya Boshendi Rabo, Menikende Ribopo, Dakasa, Likaya Boshata, Ribo Kapiala, Dakasata, Ria Likate, Dario Polia, Dakasata and Dekea. Yes. Amen. 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 
Jesus. A fresh wind. A fresh wind of the fire is about to blow now. A fresh wind. A fresh wind of the fire is blowing. It's blowing. It's blowing. It's blowing. It's blowing. It's blowing. That's the wind. That's the fire. That's the wind. Again, that's the fire. That's the wind. That's the fire. Pasapila Kayabo Shata. Amen. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. This shall be a wonderful month for you. No weapon for me against you shall prosper. Cover you with the blood of Jesus. All the prayer requests, all Lord answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace and fellowship. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Shh.